hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. You know, even just something as minute as alien abduction and probing and all that shit, which is something I really don't get. You know, if there was a, <laughs> if aliens are they were right. sent here to stick shit up our asses, really? You <laughs> fucking perverts! <laughs> oh, you hear about the reptiloids raping female abductees and them even being, women even being impregnated or having their babies taken during abduction. So, it, it's really weird. I, I, I think if something like that is going on, they're just some sick fucks in the universe looking for some cheap jollies. We are not. I'm not. We sick. are the. We are the cheap whores of the universe. Two ninety nine, and that's all you can eat. <laughs> yeah. No, but seriously, like I think that there is some unexplainable shit out there that we, <coughs> as of now, cannot really scientifically or even religiously explain as to why it happens or or why <coughs> why beings go about doing these things if these things are really going on. We came to this planet looking for intelligent life. Like, Oops, we made a mistake. <laughs> exactly. But aside from that, as far as as far as <coughs> anything else is concerned with the alien things, I, like I said, I, my, my point of view and my opinion on the matter is, yeah, I think they do exist. Are they a set of three different species? I don't know. Are they, uh, you know, enemies of or friends of the human race? I have no clue. Are they, um, you know, manipulating our politics? Why would they do that? I have no clue. Yeah, why not just come and bitch slap us like in Independence Day or War of the World? Thank you. Or, you know, Thank you. On Mars attacks. <laughs> in, in theory, there's a lot. Donut. Of, there's a lot of books out there about about aliens coming down to Earth that I've kind of actually read on that. That uh, the theories stand stand to you know stand resolute in the sense that if aliens travel all this distance, they're not coming to make friends, dude. They're coming to take over, and if they're gonna take over, they're not gonna do it quietly. They're gonna come. They're gonna fucking come when we don't know they're gonna come. And they're gonna open a can of whoopass. Yeah, and it's gonna be done. Yeah, and it's gonna be done in 24 hours. I mean, it's yeah, that, and, and that that <coughs> makes more sense. Plus, you know, like I said earlier, I don't think if a race is so technologically advanced that they would waste their time traveling to this miserable little dirt ball just to enslave us. It, one, would be a fucking waste of time, and two, if they're so advanced, you'd think that they'd be above shit like that at that point. You know, they would have, as you said, evolved beyond that point of conquer and destroy. This isn't Mars attacks. But, but on the other but, hand, there are civilizations indigenous to this planet that are, are you know, <coughs> may or may not be more intelligent or not, that still institute different kinds of culture. I mean, there's cannibals up there. I mean, why are you going to eat another human being? Oh, because their belief system... Hey, I don't want to talk eat, about your sex life. If you, no, if you eat, if you eat their eyes, that you're gonna have better eyesight. If you, if you eat their heart, you're gonna absorb and their, their soul. Strength. Yeah, and their strength. You know, if you eat their arms, it's gonna heal you. Or you know, I mean, they have all these different kinds of beliefs. And <clears throat> who knows what if aliens do exist? What they're thinking and why their agenda is the way it is. Well, I agree with you. All this is just speculation and theory. What's, what is evident is that there is an agenda at play. I think, at the most, it's very sick men seeking power. and Coming up with an excuse to scapegoat, right? Yeah, they, they're the richest people on the fucking planet. They want it all, and they have the ability in their mind to take it all by way of manipulation of society. And I think that's all what it really comes down to. I mean, you don't need to speculate, was it religion? Was it aliens? Was it the purple fucking spaghetti monster? I'm sorry, the flying spaghetti monster. You know, it, it doesn't matter until you've got some concrete evidence to support the notion. You need to just focus solely on what you know 
you need to focus on the facts and not speculate. You know? Which is what I was telling you earlier about about religion. You know, it, most of re- what religion gives you is based on faith, and yeah. you, know, you just have to take it at, at face value. Sometimes there isn't proof; you just have to believe. Well, I mean, a kid, a kid who's you know three years old or two years old, you know, four years old, you know, believe in Santa Claus. But I mean, you know, he doesn't exist. But they believe in him anyway because that's you know their way of thinking. And, you know, that's what I'm trying to get at here. Is yeah. Just because, just because you don't see it doesn't mean that I don't believe it. Well, it's like the Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't believe in the existence of a soul because you cannot see it. It's not physically tangible. Well, neither is sound. You can't see the words coming out of my mouth. You can hear it, but you can't see it. So, does word, the sound, not exist, or something as Minuscule as an atom, you can't see it with the naked eye. Sure you can. I see this table. It's made out of billions and billions of atoms. Okay, you can't you can't see the air, but you know it's there. Correct? Right. This. So by proxy, as far as the Jehovah's Witness system is concerned, that air doesn't exist. Yeah, it it could not exist. This you can't see it. You can't touch it. You know. All, all matter is, all this is, is a grouping together of molecules to form a solid. Separate those molecules, you got air. Well, you got. It's, it's just the level of density. De- it's just the level of density. So, but I wanted to still touch base on my my theory of the monetary value thing. Yeah, too. so let's, let's get into that. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? But this kind of coincides with what we were talking about with the aliens and their their technologically advanced you know, civilizations, and if they're so smart, why are they trying to take over planets? Well, this is my theory as, as far as humans are concerned. Take money out of the equation. Take money out of the equation. What do you got? You work for your houses. You work for your car. You know, you work for the betterment of society as a whole. You work for the world. You work for technological advances. You're not working to line your pockets with gold. Uh, You're thinking of the Star Trek ideology of working for the betterment of civilization, not working for a game. Kinda, kinda. I get what you're saying about Star Trek. Yeah. Well, that 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 was their. Can you check on him, Ben? Yeah, that's that common. That's a common quote in Star Trek because they don't have that monetary system anymore. They've done away with money. They work for the betterment of mankind. Now, see, I'm I'm a trek I'm a trekkie dude, but I never once heard in any Star Trek episode or or movie that they that they did away with money because of first contact. First contact. Yes, first contact. Refresh my memory. It was when they traveled back through time chasing after the Borg, and it was around the time that the warp capabilities were being developed. Yeah, I remember that. And human beings in that time kind of got caught up in the whole situation of what was going on with the Borg and the Enterprise, and it turned into a big clusterfuck, and Card was talking to one of the scientists from that time, and... I forget how the conversation came up about money, but they were talking, Carter mentioned that they did away with money and worked solely for the betterment of civilization. Okay, see, I I wasn't personally privy to that. I mean, I, I've watched that movie a billion times. Maybe I didn't see it in that point of view when they were talking about that or whatever, but <clears throat> what I'm trying to get at is... That instead, same, that same ideology. Right? Yes, but instead of working for money and buying the things that you want and these luxurious things that you, you know, the, all the material shit that you could ever think of, instead, a lot people a certain amount of monetary things that they can have based on their profession. You know, you have uh, you have communism, basically. No, not communism. I'm not talking about communism. I'm I'm talking about doing away with money. If you do away with money, people don't work for money. They work for pride. They work for prestige. They work for the betterment of mankind. They want to help one another more. 
Um, they want to, um, you know, like my, my theory is that the doctors, police officers, firefighters, teachers, you know, people who, who have a lot of um, responsibility for how we grow up and how we're developed, you know, mentally, you know, from birth until we are adults, uh, let these these teachers and these people who protect our freedoms, uh, stuff like that, let them have the mansions. Let them have the better cars. Let them have, you know, uh, the the bigger computers, the better running vehicles, so on and so forth. Uh, status class. Right. Go by status class as opposed to not not even status class. Go by job. We'll go go as the importance of a job. Your social status <clears throat> is determined by your job. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It can be determined by intelligence, too.